You know, like, Kenny's probably recording some of this, right? You want it on the internet? He'll probably have to edit it, because I remember one time that I said... So I got my grubby, slightly bony, yet larger than normal hands on For Honor's beta, and well, it played just like a beta. What the fuck was that? Ah uh, yes, Ubisoft releases a game that isn't what it's cracked up to be? Imagine my surprise. Let's just start with a quick rundown of the story, because a quick rundown is all we got. All is good with the world until a massive natural disaster has stricken the world living in ruins. No place was spared and resources are now very scarce. A barbarian is shown stumbling across the smallest fountain of fresh water who is then challenged by Ninja Gain over here and some night lady over who rightfully owns the erectile dysfunctional water fountain. They fight for millennia over the fountain and even stated that they completely forgot what they're fighting over. The reason they fight lost to the ages. It must be so important. The legendary warriors decide that maybe peace is the answer all this time. Until some bitch named Apollon comes along and is all like, And you're not gonna stop there! What are you waiting for? Do it! And once again a bloody war resumes over the small water fountain. One thing I just don't seem to understand is, what is the purpose of this beta? Maybe it is to test the service and fix bugs, but the beta finishes the day of Fort Honor's release. I cannot imagine Ubisoft will have time to fix all the problems the beta is showing before it's full release. And trust me, there's a few issues. Time will tell and we'll see how things go. Maybe I'll eat my own words and fiddle with my ass cheeks and all the free time I'll be having because after this beta, For Honor has not won me over. The gameplay consists of three main game modes with extra challenges within to keep the gameplay going. You have Deathmatch, Duels and Dominion. Deathmatch consists of a 4v4 fight to the death which starts off with each player in a 1v1 situation. If the player loses the 1v1 they must wait to be revived or risk getting eliminated for good. If you win the 1v1 you can continue to venture out and help fight with your friends to turn a 1v1 into a 2v1. Or you can wait around the corpse of your fallen enemy and just wait for their teammate to come and revive them and gank them while you have the advantage. Jules is the simplest mode in which it's just a 1v1 or a 2v1 if that tickles you pickle. You polyamorous as fuck. In which you fight your opponent in the best of 5 matches. First person to win 3 out of 5 rounds wins. Now Dominion is the game mode that I think will sell this game. With very small hints of mobile mechanics, you and 3 other warriors need to control zones to gain points. In the middle of the battlefield are minions which fight for you and can help you push into enemy territory. Killing enemy minions grants a small amount of points for which you use to gain abilities. These abilities are special to your specific warrior and can do anything like AOE heals to a barrage of arrows in a certain area. Once your team has reached a certain amount of points, your enemy team has lost the ability to respawn until they retake a point. Killing all the enemies at this stage will mean victory to you and your weeb clan. This is by far the most fun part of the game and where my time was most spent during the beta. The gameplay felt like more of an exaggerated version of Dark Souls PvP, but with a rock paper scissors element. During your fights there is an icon over your enemy which shows what side the weapon is on. When you see the icon change red, you must move your weapon to that side to block it or suffer damage. The three factions in this game are Knights, Vikings and Samurai. Using the same system as Plant Side 2 does, and Plant Side 2 does it better, each faction has its own zone and they must battle zones to increase their zones. A team with the most land in their zone wins seasonal bonuses which I am assuming consist of gear and steel. Steel is a game currency that you can use to buy new characters and open up packages which drop random lots of gear. Each weapon and armor has a lot of customizable gear which gives you little stat bonuses here and there and ultimately lets you choose how to play your own character. For example you may fight the same class and character but the accessories give each character that individual feeling. After coming back for a second day, that is when I decided that I have given up on this game. I got enough footage on day one for the video, but when I decided to have a little fun for myself, that's when the game told me to go fuck myself. I couldn't search for any games, couldn't even verse AI with a friend, and most of the time I had trouble even trying to party up with friends. The game has a worldwide event in which an objective is set and if completed, then everyone gets a prize. The objective was to play, I believe, 160,000 matches of 4v4, and everyone gets steel and some packages to get armor. I for one did not receive any of these rewards and even though my friends did, the game couldn't help but remind me that I should have these prizes, but it refused to give them to me. A menu screen continuously appeared about the rewards and will not go away. 
increasing my frustration for this game. Until I just gave up. I couldn't take this broken ass excuse of a game anymore and just gave up for good. It has one game mode that I remotely enjoyed and the others were either average or lost their flavour after a couple of plays. The game was way too overhyped and for me does not live up to the reputation it received. If you want this game then try and buy it but only when it's cheap like under 40 bucks. But even then I can guess that the player base will just drop drastically after the next couple of months. I could be very wrong but I would not be shocked in the slightest my assumption comes true. As you'd expect from a game that is entirely online for both single player and multiplayer, For Honor launched yesterday with a handful of connectivity issues. Players have filled up Ubisoft's forums with a number of complaints about the game, mostly due to network problems or matchmaking failures. So a couple of days after For Honor's release, and how's it looking? It's not looking well. My question still stands with what was the whole purpose of the beta as Obviously, multiplayer and server testing was not a primary focus. As you can see from the article uh, I found from The No, they, a lot of people are still reporting issues with matchmaking and parties and lobbying and all that sort of stuff, especially people who are playing from different regions. People in different regions seem to be having trouble connecting at all. Apparently, the game will just boot them out completely if you are from a different region, in which Ubisoft has responded with just don't play with other regions, which I think is an absolutely terrible excuse. Like, if you want to play with people from a different region, you should be, al you should be able to. If you're not going to let people play from different regions, don't have that option in the game. But since that option is in the game, it should be accessible. Unfortunately, it isn't, so there's a problem with that. What else is there? The microtransactions. Straight out the gate, hundreds of microtransactions are already out in force. Straight away with unlocks. You can unlock entire characters. Entire characters and the whole kit and caboodle. Which is comparable to the system that Battlefield has in which you can unlock the entire uh, upgrades and all the equipment that the a soldier would have. But that was at least months after the fact. Ubisoft has come out of the gates with this. So basically making it pay to win. It is making it pay to win off the get go. Because if you've got the money to fork out for those packages to get the extra equipment, you already have this advantage over people who don't. People who can't afford it or just don't want to put that money into it. I mean, if you sunk already like a large amount of money into this game, then you might, well, most people would be likely to sink more some people just barely get enough for the game as it is the game did come out with a story mode a weak as piss short story mode one very comparable to brink a game which was basically an online only multiplayer styled multiplayer match styled single player and that got ripped to shreds that uh, everyone fucking hated that but so far not a lot of people are complaining about the story maybe it's good i'm not too sure i had a look at it and it was just absolutely terrible for me some people might like it but it is one of the weakest shortest gameplay stories i have seen in a while the only thing that the game has brought out extra from its release is a couple new characters one for each class and some more maps and that is about it you you basically got your microtransactions and your terrible multiplayer with a couple new characters and a couple new maps which you can barely play the servers are stupid they're, they're terrible so if you can if you're able to get a game then you might be able to play these new characters you might be able to test these new maps who knows but what i would like to say is i did call this i did call this i mean like this will be coming out with the review but i did this um script when i was playing the beta and now it's a couple days later since i'm a my lazy shit and hadn't got the video done in time but you know it's coming out now so yeah it's terrible the games online was terrible the story mode brought nothing new and the microtransactions came out in full force hey guys live in here just giving you guys a quick update on what's going on uh as you guys may already know, you guys haven't seen much of me. Uh, there's good reason for all that. Uh, right now, this video here took me a, a fair amount of time, longer than I expected to edit. Uh, I got a bit lazy, so I need to pick up my game on that one. 
Uh, I am got another. I have got another one coming out, which is the Last of Us Remastered. That one will be coming out hopefully soon. Uh, there's a long script, about five, six pages long. So there's a lot of video there to edit, about 15 hours, um, and I got all the memes to put in there. So that's going to be fun. I am also planning to do a retro review for possibly a PlayStation One game after that. So we'll see how we go. Uh, right now, I am also in the process of moving far, far away from here. So that is going to take some time. Um, there's a lot of distance to cover, so hopefully that all goes well. But, um, yes, hopefully at this new place, the internet is better because right now the internet at my place here is getting worse and worse. That's never good and it's making me unable to stream so that's why you guys haven't seen me stream much anymore because the internet is just getting worse and worse uh, hopefully the internet in the new place will be getting better so I'll be able to stream more often and do more videos that sort of stuff uh, right now I'm also in the middle of some medical mumbo jumbo stuff right now I'm getting x-rays blood tests and felt up by 101 physios so my Valentine's Day was well spent um, Yes, and that's about it for here. So expect a review coming in for The Last of Us Remastered soon. Uh, another review after that. And hopefully by the time those videos are out, I will be back to streaming as well as making more content for you guys. So, ciao for now.